Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 44 in this tutor tutorial series and this is going to be the final video in the series. Uh, so yeah, if you have been following from video one until now, you have successfully gone from somebody who didn't know anything about HTML to learning what a tag is, to learning what CSS is and how to link CSS to your uh, HTML page and how to style certain elements. We've also taken a look at tables and more recently we took a look at forms. So you have gone from uh, an absolute novice to a sort of mediocre user or mediocre level of HTML and um, yeah, congratulations. Uh, I hope to see you guys working on some more projects in future. The only way to get better is to obviously keep creating and keep uh, learning. So one thing I wanna mention is that if you guys have created a website using what you have learned in this tutorial series and you wanna push that live and you wanna put it on a server where everybody can see it. Uh, I do have another tutorial series on my YouTube channel. So if you go over to my YouTube channel and then click on this little search icon over here, that'll allow you to search through every single video that I have on my channel and you wanna search for cPanel, right? And my cPanel series will show you how to purchase hosting and then how to upload your files to a server. Uh, so it'll basically show you how to make your website that you built using this tutorial series live and push it onto a server where everybody can see it. Um, then uh, something else I want to talk about is uh, because we've recently spoken about forms, one of the things that I mentioned when we started talking about forms is that HTML forms are kind of useless if you only know HTML. You kind of need to know a little bit more than HTML to really make use of a form. So you need to know at least a server-side language, like minimal, you need to know a server-side language, like PHP or another server-side language. Uh, I use PHP and I have PHP tutorials on my channel. So if you go over to the search icon again and just search for PHP, uh, you can learn how to manage uh, data in a form with my PHP series. And if I ever update the series or if I ever add more PHP videos, uh, those will appear here as well. Now, something else that might help make your uh, forms a little bit more interactive and something that might help you get into the mind of actually programming is to learn a little bit of JavaScript. So uh, if you go to my channel and search for JavaScript, uh, I do have tutorials on this as well. And any new tutorials I create should also appear here um, uh, after I have uploaded them. So yeah, uh, if you guys wanna learn some JavaScript, go ahead and learn some of that. Uh, and that is uh, basically what I, what I wanted to get through in this video is just, um, you know, you have learned or you have gone from an absolute novice level to a sort of uh, mediocre level in HTML. Now you need to learn a little bit of server side or a little bit of a scripting language to go further. Uh, if you wanna be a programmer and if you wanna be a website designer, uh, then you wanna learn how to create a website. So that is something that I will be doing in a future tutorial series. And uh, yeah, if you guys have stuck around from video one, I just wanna congratulate you uh, for making it through to the end. I also wanna thank you for your patience because I have taken some time to upload this video series. And just before I end off this tutorial series, I just wanna talk to you guys about my sponsor, Dev Mountain. So go ahead and look at the link in the video description below and that'll take you over to their website. Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp. So if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about programming and you wanna learn a little bit more about how this works uh, and you're struggling to teach yourself, then you can go ahead and check out their courses because if I scroll down over here, they have courses on web development, iOS development, and UX design, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field uh, within 12 weeks, I believe. So here it is, 12 week uh, immersive programs. And um, yeah, they are based in these four locations, Provo, Dallas, Phoenix, and uh, Salt Lake City. But if you are not based in one of those locations, uh, they do offer free housing at every location for everybody who is a full-time student. So if you really wanna speed up the process in becoming a web developer or a UX designer, go ahead and check out their website and maybe inquire about a course. If you do inquire, don't forget to tell them that I sent you. And that is all I have for you in this video. So I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon and I really appreciate that. 
Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.